Do you want your food posters to look steamy and delicious to the extent that a viewer can actually perceive the aroma of the food just from the screen? Adding realistic steam to your food photos is a great way to make them look more appealing and mouth-watering. In this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve that with just a few simple steps. Let's get right to it. Now, to achieve this, I'm just going to disable this effect so we actually see how this image looks without the effect. Now, when I enable it, you see the difference that effect actually makes it look more realistic so what I'm going to do now is just to disable these two layers I create a new layer which we are going to create that effect from and then I select my brush tool once my brush tool is selected I just want to reduce the size to a small brush and then I increase the hardness a little and then I use this brush now to create a wavy curve that we are going to use to be able to achieve our effect and I just draw like this once that curve is created I just go now to filter go to blur gallery I select path blur with when path blur is selected I just need to click here move my mouse to this point click here move this to this point once that is created I just need now to modify this curve to align with this shape which we have created so I just click here and I move it to this point I click here move it to this point okay once this is done the next thing I need to do is just to play with these sliders so I'm comfortable with the effect that is going to create so I'm just going to increase my speed once I increase the speed you see it's already creating that kind of effect I can increase my taper a little once I increase this and then I increase this too you see it's already creating the steam effect just have to increase this again increase the speed again increase it again okay I think I'm satisfied with this level all I need to do now is just to click on OK once this is done all I need to do now is to blend this steam with my image so all I need to do now is just to create a mask once I create a mask I'll use my brush increase my softness reduce my my hardness to that increase the brush size to like this increase it a little so all I need to do now is just to dab around to reduce the intensity of that effect around the foot and then I reduce the opacity a little to make it a little more real and then I'll create a copy of that when I create a copy of that Control T transform reduce the size a little and I move it to this other part of the foot I create a copy I create another copy control J and I move it to this other point like this and with this one I will flip it horizontally so it doesn't look exactly like the other shape and I will modify the masks so I'll just go again maybe click a little like this reduce reduce the intensity click here reduce the intensity of this one too so once once this is done I'll group everything together and then maybe reduce my opacity a little and to make this a little more realistic I'll just create create a curve layer above my foot layer bring it down a little so it, it appears to be a little dark once I've done that I just invert the layer I use my brush white brush it's my brush and I just paint here to reduce the brightness of this area a little then I drop that so that it blends in with this together so now I can activate my text layer and you see how the steam effect actually works well with this image so please if you enjoyed this video do well to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you can be able to be updated with my next videos I'm going to be releasing